Hey, it's Jay from the Anaheim Podcast. So I looked back over the previous episode I posted, and I realized that there were points that I didn't explain far enough that I wish I put a little bit more emphasis into. The reason it's so strange that Joel is so important in my life. He is a fantastic human being. Also incredibly spiritual. I am not. And on paper... It doesn't make any sense that we even associate with each other. And that brings me to my point, what you need from people in your life in regards to the arts. You need people around you who will... Of course, it's always nice to have people who love everything you do. Or some things you do, or most things you do, I should say. But it is important to have those few people who just criticize... Not hate what you do, but... It's important to have people who think you can do better. For example, I'm a writer. I write books. By that I mean I've written a book. I've gotten some great feedback from people. In fact, I'd say 90% of people who have given me any feedback, I've let say every single word you said. Dig in a little heart. Much appreciated. I love you. You're fantastic. I tend to shut down when somebody says they don't like something, which is on me, and I'm embarrassed to admit it. There are definitely situations where I understand why people don't like something. For example, I am not great with conversation. I've had some really interesting recommendations for how to get over that point, including basically read it like a script. Hear how the conversation flows. Totally understand the importance of that. Totally get it. I try to do it. There have been situations where I have written a a piece of dialogue and done that. And people turn around and just simply say, dialogue's not good. That's the proverbial rub. Proverbial? That is the wrong way to go about criticizing somebody's work, is just to point out how it's not good, and leave it at that. If you can't tell, by the way, I do these vlogs, um, if you've ever spoken to me in person, you know that I'm just very awkward. I put pauses in bizarre places, I use words that are unnecessary, and it's not me trying to flex my vernacular, it's simply... That's just the way I speak. My mind works, I guess, differently? I don't know. I might be putting greater importance on what I'm trying to say. But for somebody just to simply say, Hey, your dialogue's not good because no one talks that way. No, correction, you don't talk that way. If somebody says my dialogue's not good because people don't talk that way, I have a hard time accepting that as criticism, as fair criticism. If somebody says the pausing is strange, the sentence structure is a bit weird, if they can pinpoint a specific example as opposed to just saying as a blanket statement, it's not very good, I might take it more to heart. What I will say is something to avoid is people who blow smoke up your ass. I have a friend who said that I could keep in mind she's a devout atheist. I love that term. It doesn't make any sense. And I love it. Anyway, she's an incredible atheist. Uh, and she said that she would read the Bible if I rewrote it. And though I was incredibly humbled and I appreciate the tone or term or appreciate the sentiment, I now kind of worry about showing her anything because it might be crap. And she's going to turn around and say, it's good. I don't know about that. I don't want people to just tell me all my work is garbage. But if I do genuinely write something not great, I want someone to be have the balls to look up and say, Hey, this kind of sucks. Especially over the last couple of months, I found myself changing tone and gear as far as what I was writing before versus what I'm writing now. And I really like what I'm writing right now. I'm working on this retrospective on one relationship I had in the past. That doesn't mean romantic relationship, 
but it was a relationship on the in the classical sense of the statement. That brings me to the point of my Patreon, patreon.com slash VME. If you want your name used as a character, if you wish to have your likeness put into my book, I'm only asking about seven bucks a month. It's a steal. Now, with that said, there was one thing that I wanted to talk about that when I mentioned to my mom that she was like, I need to do your research, so I'm not going to dive too far into it, but I'm going to say if you have heard about the Native Children uh, being found in one of the residential school basements, I am so livid with the way that situation is being dealt with on the political level. I'll let you do your own research into it. I just wanted to point it out because I feel like it should be pointed out. 215. 215. Fucking hate this country. Anyway, so I'm gonna play uh, Weird Science by Chance Procedure solely because it's a prime example of. I recorded this song and no one has given me criticism on it ever. Not negative criticism. And I don't know how I feel about that. I love the song. To the two members who were part of that band at the time, we did some cool shit. I'll take it. I will take it. If you could notice, I'm not doing the hits for the intro anymore. Multiple reasons why not. Main reason is I just don't care. I don't care to find the track again and figure all that stuff out. Anyway, my name is Jason Garden. This has been the Online Podcast. I love you.